Yes. Whipped cream on a hot Cheeto pancake, y'all. Yep. <laughs> and we gonna sprinkle it with some dust. You gotta do it right. If you gonna do hot Cheetos, you gotta do it right, y'all. Period. She was like, oh, are you at your rat face girlfriend's house or something? Oh, no, she called me a gutter rat, y'all. Okay, she had never met Stephanie or seen her. <laughs> no. But anyway, so she's- You the one living in your car with no home. Okay, sweetheart. Little poo poo. Okay. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gonna eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. What's up, y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha, and we back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs the video up if you like it. Please thumbs the video down if you don't. Share, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. I thought something was crawling on me, y'all. Um, baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing the hot Cheetos pancakes and breakfast mukbang overall. She doing the hot Cheetos pancakes. <laughs> I'm doing the breakfast. You ready to eat the hot Cheetos pancakes? Yes. Then let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. So what we have today, we have some delicious. I already know they're good because everything we've done, hot Cheeto has been so good. So I'm just going to call them delicious right away. Hot Cheetos pancakes, you guys. Look at that. Red and juicy. Y'all yes. already know how I feel about this, so I'm not even going to say nothing. I already said it in the live. <laughs> Don't nobody have time for her. We also have sausage, bacon, eggs, and some what are you, tater tots. Yeah. Okay. And, of course, I had to have dust on the side. Right. Gotta have dust. We got some whipped cream. Y'all know I love whipped cream on my pancakes, so let's just get that done. Yes. Whipped cream on a hot Cheeto pancake, y'all. Yep. <laughs> Yay. And we're going to sprinkle it with some dust. Yes, you gotta do it right. If you're gonna do hot Cheetos, you gotta do it right, y'all. Period. All right, y'all, you ready, babe? Yeah, I'm ready. You don't want the hot Cheetos, babe? Mm -mm. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Let me cut this for y'all because I love when people cut it so we can see the inside. Um, Just for you. I need some more. Enjoy. Babe, ooh. I just tasted the piece and it was spicy. <laughs> All right. Okay, I have a piece that has nothing on it. I'm just gonna taste it. I don't have absolutely anything. Not even syrup on this, y'all. <clears throat> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a piece of pancake. I will try it. I ain't gonna lie. No. No. You know what, y'all? That's not what you're supposed to do. That ain't good at all. Oh, dog. That is so not good. <laughs> Don't do this at home, y'all. Why did you put ketchup on it? It was an accident. Oh, my goodness. These are so nasty. Yeah. You thought they was going to be good, babe? <laughs> what, you still eating them now? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Have fun with that. Here. You didn't even try it? Yeah, I tried it. It was delicious. Here, try that. That's a good one with the sauce and everything on it for you. Oh, Jesus, help me. Um, it's our anniversary, y'all. And she's gonna make me eat it. This is so nasty. Oh, Why am I still eating this? I don't know, because I'm just amazed at how gross it is. <laughs> something wrong with me, y'all. I'm sick. Mm -hmm. I am sick. What? Definitely something wrong. Mm -mm. I'm gonna try it when I get this out my mouth. Y'all don't try that at home. Now, oh, and it's really nasty with the whipped cream and the extra. Oh, that's nasty. And so you gave it to me? I'm sorry. Oh, that's You're horrible. really making me want to try it. I'm sorry. Please try it though. Okay. It's so nasty. So I'm gonna try a piece of bacon first. I'm not about to play. Mm. But I wanted to say, today is a continuance of our relationship talk. Part three of how do we fall in love, basically, you guys. Sorry. Okay, so let me tell y'all right now about the story time. It's going to be a hot mess because generally we discuss 
we discuss, we try to um, recap our relationship so we can be on here and be ready to just tell it. And, we didn't know, do that today. Get all the conflict straightened out. Remember the time frames and all this stuff, you guys. We ain't done that. It's gonna be very, very um, be shaky from my part. It's gonna be a mess. Cause I don't remember yesterday. <laughs> but we gonna try. We are gonna try. I know that we left off with um, when I got that Mike Tyson slap. I don't even know if I told y'all I got slapped. I think I did. When um, Stephanie broke into my apartment and found me with another girl, my ex. That's where we left off. Mm -hmm. And we were, we continued to date. Well, we stopped talking well, for a couple days a week. Mm hmm But well, baby, don't try to avoid eating that that pancake though. No, I'm drinking. Show them the pancake. Right, Tasha's okay. trying to do everything except eat that pancake. So y'all, I made some regular that just red pancakes, so that's what I'm eating right now. I ain't doing a hot chicken thing. That is so nasty. Here we go. Here it is, y'all. Do I eat the whole thing? Yeah, go for it. Let's do it. Uh, Come on. Come on, babe. You can do it. All right. You like hot Cheetos. You like it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say no. Mm. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, right? Right. I mean, it could have been worse. That's what I'm saying. I feel it like definitely could have been worse. If you like hot Cheetos, I mean, you can't hate it that much. Um, it wasn't good. It wasn't good, y'all. Okay. Don't try that. This is just a regular uh, pancake with red food coloring, y'all. Okay. So, for those who didn't want the hot Cheetos pancake, mm. try this uh, pancake with ketchup on the back. Make it long, good. No, you did hot Cheetos and you made me do it. Try it with the damn thing and some um with it go ahead okay you do a lot of stuff so yeah I will. exactly get right there in the middle look y'all yeah right there in that middle part pancake with ketchup yeah get that yeah you want me to put a little bit of orange juice on it too no I'm good yeah. and it's a lot of ketchup on here yeah it is how is it <laughs> mm -mm. no mm -mm. go ahead and eat that I hate it. You do? Mm-hmm. So I guess we could finish where we left off. We basically, after that incident, we um didn't talk for a few days or whatever. It, what I had told Stephanie the day, a couple days prior was true. I really did want to be with her. I really did love her. My ex was just always around and just, it was stressful, you guys. If anybody has you know, the type of person around them that's, she was like a burden, you guys. She didn't really, I don't want to talk about her business too much because I think I have already before, but I'm not going to do that because she be on here with y'all. <laughs> but, um. Love you. So, Stephanie was like, okay, fine. We can do this again. When I came over, when you go to her apartment, um, you can see the trash can area before you go up to her actual apartment because she lived in the back. I saw the balloons, the teddy bear, the perfume, a brand new bottle of perfume that was not cheap, all sitting outside the trash, the trash can. I guess she was letting somebody come get it. <laughs> but she knew I was coming over. So we started talking back again, y'all. Um, however, I definitely went into this with an even bigger wall than, than before. Mm -hmm. Now, previously when we were talking, I literally was just talking to you. After that, all this stuff happened, I just started talking to anybody, y'all. Wow. People that I didn't even want to talk to. Is there anybody that want to talk to me? Yeah. Yeah, we can talk. Sure. Right, let's go. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is friends. I wasn't doing nothing with them. But, I mean, I knew they probably wanted to date me or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so, there was one, that, though, that I did kind of start liking, and we started hanging out more or whatever. And then, something happened with that situation. We did a, a story time on that. Where I got caught at Gay Pride, basically. With me. 
Yeah. From the other girl. So yeah. she was dating this other person. So I guess you and I were just like whatever. We were just like whatever. Mm -hmm. We were and, just like whatever right now. Mm -hmm. She was dating somebody else. She talked. I don't even know if you told me. I think I think I did tell you. You did tell me about the girl. Mm -hmm. And then the girl ended up seeing her at Pride. She didn't say anything. <laughs> no, she didn't say nothing, y'all. But, but anyway, anyway, let's go back. In the midst of me talking to this person or whatever, Tasha still was Tasha still was back and forth with her stuff. She wasn't, she didn't just say, oh, after this, now I'm just gonna be doing everything right. No. She still was talking to like letting the ex basically manipulate her you know what i'm saying and i feel like it was causing a lot of distance be between us a lot still mm -hmm. you know so i was just like you know what mm -mm. i'm gonna give this other person a chance so i the other person and it, like she knew about you mm -hmm. she was like i need you to end it so this one day i was like i'm gonna end it for i'm, I'm about to end it with tasha so i call you up with the whole intention <laughs> did i tell you I think I told no. you. No, I did. Tell me shit. Yeah, I think I did. You you uh, ended it with me. I think I was like trying to say, hey, we shouldn't talk anymore. And I was like not even hearing it because I don't even remember that. Yeah. And Tasha was like, okay, well anyway, you um, I'm going to Gay Pride. Come with me. Oh. So Tasha tells me to go to Gay Pride with her, and to give it another chance. She's telling me all this good stuff. My heart was way more invested in her than anybody else. So it was easy for me to just be like, okay. And go basically hang out with you, the person who I really loved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I go to Gay Pride with her that day. I had no idea that the other person was going. She she basically ended up going too. So that whole thing crumbled that day. If you want to see the story time, go look at it. I'll put a link in the description. Okay, now we continue to go through a lot of bullshit mm -hmm. throughout this next year. Let me explain what the bull BS was. Okay. It wasn't me dealing with other women. It was the ex. The whole time it was the ex. It wasn't about me messing around with the ex. It was drama with me and the ex. Uh, and all I want to say one thing, I kept bringing up the baby, you guys, and I didn't say this. I was not with my ex when she decided on having that baby. I really think that she got pregnant before she even said anything to me. I just agreed to help her raise the baby. So we didn't plan this together, y'all. Just saying. I'm just thinking about, there are so many things that happened during this next year that I don't want to skip over. I was yeah. just going to skip over and say whatever, but no, we There's some incidents, we, man. We, okay, so we what? need to talk about that. We need to decide what we're gonna talk about because the incidents in themselves are story times. You know what oh. I'm saying? Okay. So then we gotta tell y'all that we don't know what the hell we even talking about. Like with this ex. Oh, tell them. Okay, so maybe we could just <laughs> give you guys. We don't it know. The, we don't know a timeline, but tell them about the time. Okay, so one time I was at Stephanie's house. This is when we were dating. One time I was at her house, and the girl was texting me. Um, and she was like, now remember we talked because of the baby in, but that was, it's an excuse too for her. Um, so she told me, she was like, oh, are you at your rat face girlfriend's house or something? Oh, no, she called me a gutter rat, y'all. Oh, okay. She said gutter rat. Gutter rat. Okay. Okay. She had never met Stephanie or seen her. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe she stalked online, but Stephanie doesn't look like a gutter rat. No. But anyway, so she. You the one living in your car with no home. Okay. Sweetheart. Little poo poo. Okay. Call somebody a gutter rat. Mm. Okay. Carry on. So, um, living in the damn Tahoe that's not even in her name. Right. But anyway, let me stop. So, she called Stephanie a gutter rat or whatever she called her. I don't remember. And so I kind of was going back and forth with her. And then I decided just to show Stephanie the text message, I guess, because I was annoyed and that was it. So I showed her, or she saw it. I don't know what the case was, but she saw it and she was like, oh, okay, whatever. I think she called, did you call her? Either I called her or she called me. I don't know, but we was on the phone talking. Okay, she probably called me and then yeah, that's probably what you guys talked or and then what happened? We basically planned to meet at Tasha's house at seven o'clock, okay, that night. I was like, who? Yeah. Awesome. I was like, oh my God. I was like, let me leave. So I left to go home. <laughs> Because it was almost 7 o'clock, first of all. So Tasha left. Um, oh, I just want to say, if y'all have watched this, especially the lives, somebody has probably heard at least part of this story yeah. already. So, sorry. Um, it's okay. So, 7 o'clock. No, about 6.30 hits. I'm like, y'all don't know. I'll be pumped about something like this. Because she had done so much disrespect she has. of her and me. Mm -hmm. Like, it's some other stuff, y'all. But anyway. Is I was looking forward oh. to meeting up with her ass. Okay, mm -hmm. so I go. I drive over there, 
and when I get there, I don't think she was there yet. No. No, she wasn't there. I got, I drove up and I was at home. I was inside but I the feel house. like she came right when I came though. You guys came at the because same time. Because I jumped out of my car in the middle of the street, y'all, with it running and left the door open, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I go over to her and I'm just like, okay, what's up? You wanted to meet. What's right. up? I'm here. You here. What's up? She's sitting in her car. I'm outside of my car. I done walked up to her window, basically. Ooh, shoot. She just arguing through the, the window, y'all. She was just saying, like, I don't know why she wasn't getting out the car. Do you know why she wasn't? Um, she mm -hmm. pretended like she couldn't. Well, that was another So part. what happened, from uh, my perspective on this thing, Stephanie texted me while I was, I didn't know if they were really coming. I didn't really know anything. So Stephanie texted me and she was like, I'm really coming. Is your, is your ex's car this? And then the ex texts me the same thing. Is Stephanie's car this? I didn't respond to the ex, but I was responding to Stephanie. Um, so I go outside and Stephanie jumps out of the car in the middle of the street. It's a residential area kind of y'all. So it's not like street street, mm -hmm. but she jumps out of the car and leaves it there running. The ex is parked on the street. The ex is the one that said she wanted to come and fight or do, do whatever exactly. the thing. So the point is do what you said you was coming to do. Exactly. And you're the one with a little baby. Why are you leaving your baby to come fake fight? <laughs> so she's in the car and then she's arguing through the car. Stephanie walks up to the truck. And they arguing or whatever. The ex is like, if I get out of this car, I'm going to die. Well, I just started laughing. I said, she said she going to die. She said she was going I to. I think she meant to say that I was going to die. But she Maybe. kept saying that she, she was going to die. Uh -huh. So eventually I was like thinking. I was, I, I was looking in her car as we arguing shit. I see her purse sitting right there. I grabbed the purse, y'all, and slung that shit out the window. Because <laughs> I figured she has to get out the car to get her purse. Yeah. The purse looked like a Frisbee. <laughs> That's how it flew. It just went like this the whole way and slid under somebody's car. Everything flew out of it as it proceeded to slide under somebody's car across the street. I was like, whoa. Yeah. So I'm waiting. Like, I know she's getting out now. Yeah. She goes to grab her door handle and is doing this. Acting like she can't get out the door, y'all. She was. She was, y'all. And the door was slightly open, but she was like, I can't I can get out this. Cup. I'm like, really? Right. So Tasha goes to get the damn purse. I'm mad as hell. Like, don't get that shit. Let her come get it so we can Let do what she came to do. Let me tell y'all why I got the purse. I got the purse because I didn't want them to fight, and I wanted her to get the hell out of there. The whole time <laughs> they arguing, I'm like, I don't even want to be with you. I want to be with her. Leave the house. Leave the house. Why are you here? I'm saying all this stuff. First of all, I'm thinking, I know the ex is going to call the police. Stephanie's not even the type that fights her. She's not even like no ratchet ass female. So I'm like, I don't want my girl going to jail over this ex that's a psycho. Y'all, uh, so much stuff happened. I was going to bring up the other thing, but I'm not even going to bring it. You, feel, you probably like, what other thing? Because there's so many things. You don't know which other thing I'm talking yeah. about. So we're going to have to write down the stories yeah. and, and give y'all a whole just lap. Real quick, one night she came over late at night and was banging on the door, drunk or whatever. And That's what I was going to tell her. Oh, I was there. But you could tell them, yeah. And she, I'm going to try to make it quick though, because yeah. we got to go. But so she was like, um, just banging on the door, just trying to get it, whatever. So um, Tasha never opened the door, of course. She ends up, no, so nothing, we, we just went to sleep, we went to sleep. in the morning. Yeah. Wake up in the morning, her whole key, uh, car is keyed, y'all. My whole car. Her whole car is keyed. And I'm telling y'all, a lot of people think that, oh, if a girl is keying your car, it's because you're doing something. I really was not dealing with this girl. If I was dealing with her, she definitely would have told Stephanie. Right. She would, because she had, they had each other's numbers. She didn't even say she, it when I went to the house. When I saw her at your house, she didn't say that. She didn't say yeah, the whole thing with her, she never was like, oh, me and Tasha trying to be together yeah. or Tasha trying to tell me she want to be with me or we've been together. Nothing. Yeah. She just needed somewhere to live and wanted to use Tasha for yeah. babysitting or living, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so she keyed her whole entire car, y'all. We we uh figured it out in the morning. Tasha calls her. She tried to blame it on me. Yeah. She, she said. She tried to blame it on me. <laughs> she was Bitch, like. no, I was inside the house. Yeah, exactly. Okay. She was like, I can't believe Stephanie would do something like this. Because I said, did you do, I guess I was like, you know, you came to my house or whatever. She was like, yeah, but I would never key your car, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, so I don't know what happened, but she was just like, she was like, I, did, have you asked Stephanie? Do you think she has something to do with it? And I'm like, no, I don't think Stephanie would do that. And she was like, I think she did. I don't know what she was saying. Yeah, she, she basically was like, was like, "Yeah, you hinted to the fact that it could, maybe it wasn't her, basically. So she took that and ran with it. Okay. And so, yeah, did she ever come forth and say it was her? I sat down with her one day. Um, this was a long time later, maybe a year later. Um, and she told me that she did not do it. She, to this day, she, 
We looked out the people and saw you, girl. Yeah. If you watched this video, we know it was you. Yeah, we know it was you. I mean, no you one the, else. Yeah, you were the one outside, <laughs> and you. then and then all of a sudden the next morning my car is keyed. Right. It was you. It was you. I mean, and it wasn't just keyed, y'all. It was keyed, scribbled all on the hood, mm -hmm. all the way from the front to the back. The entire car was just keyed up. Only a drunk motherfucker would do something like that. Mm. But anyway, y'all. Yeah, so that was. There's definitely more to the story. Man, yeah, that yeah. was one incident. We got to think of all the incidents, y'all, yeah. and get back to y'all. But this yeah. is probably going to be a lot. It's still going to be a lot more parts to mm -hmm. our story. Mm -hmm. A lot. Because we haven't even gotten to the part where we moved in together. No. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, Stephanie just Sorry, is not prepared for this relationship. No, not at all. But it was definitely a interesting roller coaster. Roller coaster. I'm glad that we both stayed on the ride. Yeah. Cause now it's, it's a smooth awesome right now. Ride. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's our three year anniversary. Yes. Mm. All right, y'all. So it's our three year anniversary. We are so happy. We are so excited to be married for three years. Um, I knew we were gonna make it, but it's just exciting to see the progression of our relationship and the love. Love actually does grow. You would think it doesn't, but it does grow. Yeah, it it definitely grew for me a lot, yeah. especially after we got married. I didn't That's think it was I'm gonna grow about. after. Yeah. So, um, you guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, like I said, give it a thumbs down. Stephanie thinks Still you shouldn't. Um, just X off if you don't like it. Just X off <laughs> after you watch it. Leave a comment though. You can tell us you hate us, it's fine. Hit that notification bell. So? So that you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. I didn't do that. Subscribe to our vlog channel, y'all. Link's in the description below. Help me. Tasha's abusing me. Hey, no, no. Don't say that shit. Ow. Put your hands on the damn table. On your ears. Both. Nose. Say, oh, I'm a good. Only goodbyes, y'all.